riding yet. Well, I've got to start sometime. Anyway, you can't call it riding with Pepper. <laughs> Money! A few years ago, I had to use a snare. I dared use a gun because of the noise, just in case I got caught. I wanted to ask you something. Am I coming to supper tonight? Only if I can bring him. You know there's no need. Look, if I'm going to start having my supper up at Flambarge every night, I'm going to start paying my way. Who said I was inviting you to supper? He did. <laughs> what are we going to have with him? Potatoes. <laughs> You're a mind reader. <laughs> potatoes so much smaller than Wilhelm's. It ain't mine, miss. They're all from the same cart. Ah, well, they grow bigger on this side of the field. wrong to play around with him like that. I know. It was only a joke. Anyway, you did it too. Yeah, I know. He's the laziest thing I've ever seen. Well, he's not been lazy since I've been here. <laughs> I haven't been here very long. Why are they wasting time with those little potatoes? There's fields of turnips to be brought in. Because if we don't lift the potatoes now, the frost will get at them. Oh, I see. Anyway, who's running this farm, Christina? But what about the turnips? Christina, we could dig the potatoes, mend the fences, milk the cows, and still have time to bring the turnips in, all right? I see. But I want them brought in now. You should be minding your baby, not worrying about the farm. To me, won't you, Isabel? Hmm? The poor little thing's got no choice. It's all your fault, really. I used to be a human being, now I'm only her mother. Dear, it's very nice having you all the same. Yes, well, it'd be even nicer if you'd feed her from time to time. <sighs> it was so nice to get out for a few hours. Besides, I thought she'd like to get to know her grandmother. I'm not her grandmother. Shh, don't say things like that. Poor little thing. She hasn't got many grandparents, have you? No. Only you and Fowler. Me and Fowler? Don't you be teaching her things like that. Well, it's better than Tizzy's idea. He thinks Fowler's her father. How about your Aunt Grace? She couldn't be her father. Her grandmother. Did you hear that, Isabel? Great Aunt Grace is now your grandmother. Oh, yes, it's very confusing. No wonder poor Tizzy's in a muddle. Tizzy, he's your brother. Well, he's not really your brother. Christina, go on. All right, I'll go and feed you. Once. Do you realize you could have hurt Isabel? I didn't mean to hurt Isabel. I've told you not to play with those aeroplanes. I thought they'd fly. I see. Well, now you know, don't you? You stick to horses in the future. They're much safer. Really, they are. I don't like greens. Eat your greens. Yeah. It's a special treat staying up late to eat your greens. So if we start tomorrow, how long will it take? Why 
Why weren't you there? All the others started at six o'clock. What's this? My calling up papers, miss. My mum thought you might be able to help me. Don't you want to go and fight for your country? Well, if that's me mum, miss. She were ever so upset. That's why I were late. Well, I'm on your side, Stanley. If you want to go and fight, you go and fight, whatever your mother says. But I'm doing important work here, miss. Not when you turn up three hours late. I'll catch up on that, miss. And I work extra hard, I promise. Your mother must be very proud of you. You will tell her, miss. If you prove you're worth it. Thank you. I know, Mary. But we need the men. Stanley. Stanley. I'm all right. No, it's time you had a rest. Come on, you're not used to it. Come on. Hey. <gasps> Serves you right. Oh. You should have worn gloves. Harry didn't have gloves, miss. Harry, you went to stop. You won't be able to do anything at all tomorrow. Yes, I will. I want to. It's all right. We won't send you off to the army this time. Not if we can avoid it. Go and tell your mother the good news. Thank you, miss. I know it was my fault. I shouldn't have scared him. You asked me to come. If it was a mistake, I'll tell you. It was a mistake. It was a stroke of genius on my part. By the way, I've never thanked you. Thank you. My pleasure. Not a very good uncle, am I? Helping to take his playroom to pieces. I told him not to come in here. Well, he likes a challenge. He broke one yesterday. Much skill and no one to enjoy it. Seems a waste. better for William's child than in William's bedroom. You can't sleep in my bedroom forever. So that's it. If he'd collected horse passes, you'd have thought nothing of it. <laughs> Was that a joke? <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> Sorry. Never had the practice you did. Fighting off all those sharp-tongued rustlers. Who did your bit of fighting off? What, Mark? Hmm. Thought you'd kill him. So did he. The trouble with Mark is, was, he was nearly very nice. Yes, except to uh, people and horses. Servants, not people. It's 
especially the ones who didn't know their place. Oh, yes. It was always your trouble. Some people might say I was encouraged, of course. I beg your pardon? Here, let me... Bring them down again when Isabel's older. Do you think she'll follow in her father's footsteps? People do. Like Tizzy. I hope not. Do you call this clean? Spotless. That's the trouble with servants. They take no pride in their work. Well, maybe we don't get paid enough. Thank you, dear. For this time. Holding my hand. Christina. Let's see if supper's ready. I'm back. Today? Oh. I thought I was here. I better go home then. You've got soft hands. Let's have a look. It don't hurt me. Why weren't you this morning then? Busy, wasn't I? Anyway, you're wasting your time. We've almost finished. That's why I came back. I ain't gonna miss the party, am I? to receive, may the Lord make us truly thankful.
Schießt das Wild daher, gleich wie es ihm gefällt. Juja, Juja, lustig ist die Jäger. Work here. Oh, you do, do you? Well, in that case, you can bring my luggage in. Do you believe we've been invaded? Mein Mantel Sakko reicht dich hin und her als Jäger aus Kurpfalz. Jo ja, jo ja, da lustig ist die Jägerei. Hier auf grüner Heid, hier auf grüner Heid. Hey, 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 Hello, Christina. Hello, everybody. Whoever you are. I thought you were dead. Sorry, I couldn't oblige. Come on, Fritz. Don't let me spoil the fun. Oh, well, have it your own way. Someone mind getting me a drink in my own house? Things have changed, haven't they? Yes. Very nice to have you back, Mr. Mark. Yeah. Uh, yes, it is. Thank you, both of you. I don't know how good it is to be back. Well, as no one else is obviously going to say it, here's to the conquering hero. I'm sorry, Mark, it's a shock. Oh, it's lovely to have you back. <laughs> At last. We got a telegram saying you were dead. Presumed killed, I believe the phrase is. Oh, why didn't you write? You can't write from a Turkish prison. Are you all right? All the better for seeing you again. Turning up like this. Typical. <laughs> I live here, remember? So do I. That's another reason I came straight down. Anyway, explanations in the morning, eh? And I want a few from you, too. <laughs> At the moment, all I want is to eat, drink, and be disgustingly merry. <laughs> hey, come on, Fritz. What about that song you were singing just now, eh? Lee? Yeah? Uh, 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 that's Lee? Jawohl, jawohl. Uh, Malle! Oh, right, I'll fill him up. Ein Jäger aus Kopfhals, der reitet oh. durch den grünen Wald, der schön, das wird da her, so wie es ihm gefallen. Jo, 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 gar lustig ist die Jäger. Where did Dick go? Hier auf grüner Heid, all hier auf grüner Heid. Dick, yes, that'll need quite a bit of explaining. Jäger, ganz nach mir heim, bis 
I told him to bring my luggage in. What? What a servant's walk. I'd like to teach you. Rather appropriate for this sort of occasion. If someone will fill my tankard first. Dick! Kaiser Bill is feeling ill. The Crown Prince, he's gone barmy. Kaiser Bill is feeling ill. The Crown Prince, he's gone barmy. I don't give a cluck for old Von Fluck and all his blooming army. Kaiser Bill is feeling ill, the crown prince is gone barmy. I don't give a cluck for old Von Fluck and all his blooming army. Made a bed up for Mark. Oh, he'll be lucky to get there by the looks of him. <laughs> and Fowler. Oh, it was a lovely party, Mary. I'm off to bed. Good night. It's nice to have him back, though. <laughs> what was I saying? Did I take the goat out? <laughs> So they took the goat outside. The captain says to this Turkish girl, take your dress off. <laughs> <laughs> so she takes that dress off. The captain says to her, what's that? <laughs> she says, what? And he says, you're drunk, Mark. <laughs> you're drunk, Mark. No, no. Oh, please don't interrupt my stories, Christina. <laughs> Where was I? It's time you went to bed. Ridiculous. Fowler. Who's for another, eh? What if I will? Show me something. <clears throat> oh. I think it's time I went to bed. <laughs> Get you to bed. <laughs> you know, Christina, you're very nice and very well meaning and all that. But to be perfectly frank, you're a bit of a bore. <laughs> <laughs> no offense meant, of course. No, Mark. Crude, I think the word is. <laughs> like young Will. Why well, you get on so well, I dare say. <laughs> How is young Will? Why else that before? Several times. Oh. Well, how is he? We'll talk about it in the morning. Oh. Mark! <laughs> you know, I can manage perfectly well on my own.
Why the hell am I sleeping in Will's room? You asked that last night. Mm. Well. I thought you'd prefer it to the kitchen floor. Christina! You called. You haven't put Dick in my room, have you? Christina! 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 Hello, I'm Chizzy. Hello, I'm Mark. You make a lot of noise, don't you? Oh, it's so impertinent. What are you doing in my bedroom? This is Uncle Mark's bedroom. This is Uncle Mark, is he? No, he's not. Uncle Mark's a soldier. Even soldiers have to sleep. Do you fight, Hans? Oh, yes, all the time. And kill him? Oh, sometimes. Will you show me how to kill Hans? You don't want to kill Hans. Germans? Yes, I do. Have you got a gun? And what about poor Wilhelm? He's not a gun. If I'm his uncle, Christina, who on earth's his father? You are. Have you got a gun? Go and talk to Mary. And Violet's his mother. Well, I know you said things had changed around here, but... Well, didn't you think you had a child growing up somewhere? Oh, somewhere? Not here. Violet isn't here, is she? Don't worry. I've legally adopted him. I can take many more surprises. There is one last one. Christina. When? Earlier this year. Obviously. He was shot down over Belgium. Just when I was beginning to like him, too. So that's all he left you, is it? Do you mind if I, um... Am I doing it right? Awful. Still, I dare say Dick's like a father to her, isn't he? Let's quarrel. Why shouldn't I be friendly with Dick? I like him very much. That's plain to see. He's useful. I employ him to run the farm for me. And which farm would that be? Your farm. My farm. And if you don't mind, I'll choose who I employ on my farm. And you can choose who you get to live with you there, too. I apologize. 
What more can I say? You could try and put a little more sincerity into it. I apologize, Christina, from the depths of my heart. I think you are a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful woman. Oh, stop woman. it. I'll race you over to the master's place. What? I've got to see a girl about a horse. Come on, you old nag. Come on. You sure he won't mind? I'll deal with father. That's what I like to hear. He's not very fit. Oh. The horse. But he's got plenty of go. Just what I like. Plenty of go. Christina only has pretend horses. <laughs> <laughs> How long will you be on leave? Long enough to want a bit of company. I hate to spoil the party. But I'm idling away my time, as usual. Christina's not very pleased with me. My being alive and well's upset all her plans. <laughs> Ignore him. I think it's the only thing to do. Thank you for putting up with him. You must come to supper soon. Uh, both of you. Yes. We would both love to. Get up. Get up. Where were you? Talking to one of Amy Master's overfed brothers. I couldn't bear to watch you. I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. I've always said what a nice girl she was. Especially when she can do you a favor. Hmm? Who's jealous now? Oh. It's worth it, though, wasn't it? Hmm. Come on. I'll show you what a wonderful farm I've made for you. That's a field of potatoes. Not many potatoes. We've all been dug up. Oh. Don't tell me. That's not a potato field. No. That's what we call grass. Jolly good farm, this. So, this is the harvest, is it? Well, some of it. Very impressive. What's that? Oh, yes. It's the man who runs the farm. You've done very well, Dick, considering. You know, Christina, I think we might let him stay on after all. <laughs> Don't you ever talk to him like that again. Aren't you being rather overprotective? To a mere employee? Who said anything about me? Ah. How would you describe your relationship? Very nice. Until a few hours ago. I'm only thinking of you, Christina. Me? Well, not only you. But as a sole surviving male member, I do have the family name to consider. Can't have my sister-in-law marrying a stable lad. Whatever next? Dick is not a stable lad. He hasn't been for years, in fact, since you got him the sack. Who said anything about marriage? What feeble excuse did he use to get out of the army? Oh, the feeblest imaginable. He got this German to shoot him. And then he caught TB just to be on the safe side. How was your war? 
fine. If you like prison camps. Unfortunately, I've got to go back to my war. Christina. If it's about Dick, I don't. Down with Dick! I'm sorry, Christina. Years of practice. Besides, it's the best way to get your courage up. Why, are you going to pick another fight with Dick? Well, you might just beat him this time. I might let him off. <laughs> on one condition. You marry me. Serious. How can you ask that after the way you've behaved today? I didn't get very far when I tried behaving well. I said no then. What makes you think I've changed my mind? Competition isn't what it was. Unless someone else has stepped into the ring. No, they haven't. As I said before, all this could be yours. I thought it was mine until yesterday. No, Mark, I'm sorry. Oh, for goodness sake, be sensible, Christina. What about Tizzy and Isabel? What'll they do otherwise? Besides, we could have children of our own, too. Lots of them. I'd never thought of you as a father. I'm an excellent father. Have been for years. We'd quarrel all the time. Keeps you fit. I don't love you, Mark. Do you want me to say I love you? Well, I do. Always have done, I think. Look, I'm, I'm not very good at saying this sort of thing. But if it hadn't been for that pest of a younger brother of mine... You should marry Amy Masters. Well, I want your advice about matchmaking, I'm Christina. I'm only trying to help. Sometimes. I know. Much worse when I'm married. I'll risk it. I don't want to be a widow twice, Mark. What if I said I'd fight very, very carefully? Do anyway. I don't know why I bother with you. Neither do I. You're much too good for me. I am. Too young to drink. Are they, Tizzy? No. Cheers. Cheers. <coughs> <laughs> you drink all your medicine down, Tizzy. I'll tell you all about the Huns I've killed. Leave him alone, Mark. When Christina's gone to bed. Don't talk about Uncle Dick, Tizzy. Not today. Auntie Chrissy? Uncle Mark's only joking. Uncle Dick's been very busy today. I'll just get the pudding.
Christina. Christina! Bitte? Dick. Ach nein. Where's Auntie Chrissy? Now you eat your pudding up. I'll be going soon. I'll be gone before him. I promise you it'll be all right. How can it be? It just will be. Not if he runs Flambards. I can't work for him, you know that. Well, maybe he doesn't own Flambards. All that money I put into it must mean something. Well, if it does, you write to me in London. I'll probably come running back again. I have to ask before I have a drink now. Does Mark know who Tizzy is? Yes. It's all right. He can't take him away. I've adopted him. Better read it. I don't like telegrams. You read it. All right. Mm. It's Dorothy. Is she all right? I hope so. Says she's coming to stay. When? Half an hour ago. 
was rather a slow telegram. my uniform. Oh, well, I'm nursing in France. Uh, not at this very minute, oh, of course. Well, I'm just home on leave. I'll have to go back tomorrow or Father will be furious. I don't suppose you thought of writing a letter? Oh, she's all right with the letters. It's putting them together to make words. That's the problem. Ha, ha. Oh, I do love women in uniform, don't you? Well, well, I'm not wearing it tonight. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> we thought we might go out this evening. Well, you're invited too, of course. Of course. Except that I do have a family to look after. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, you're supposed to say, when can I see them? Well, well I would if this brute would let go of me. Can I see your family, please? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, actually, now 